Hello and welcome. It is Sakura, Sakura 7 of course. Another episode. Maybe another day. Uh, where we are following Cosmos's plans. Let's see. The following morning. Uh... I wake uneasily from my slumber after sojourning, or so it felt, in a roiling pit of anxious, uncomfortable dreams. I don't remember what I was dreaming about precisely, but a lingering sense of unease clings to me. I do remember what I was dreaming about today, and uh, it was like a crazy, crazy throwback to the past. Do not know how, but somehow it kind, kind of casted a lot of people from like primary school, middle school, high school, even university for me for some reason. Weird thing, weird thing. Anyway, for last night passed uneventfully enough, after that sharp spike of anxiety I felt while walking back to my apartment, I still feel tense. Not even 8 hours worth of sleep was enough to soothe me. Oh, ha ha ha, yes. I so understand that feeling. <laughs> then again, I rarely get 8 hours and that's definitely not a good thing. Why do I feel so disoriented? My head is throbbing and feels oddly fizzy. My thoughts meanwhile are all in a muddle. When I swallow, I can taste something akin to iron on my tongue? So, blood. Why, why for? Gross. I need to brush my teeth and my hair too. I sweated a little while I was asleep too and my nightshirt is clinging uncomfortably to my skin. With aging limbs and a dully throbbing skull, I sit up in my futon then glance around. Elizabeth I imagine will be in the kitchen working on breakfast. As for Stefania, meanwhile... Hmm... It's strange that she isn't here. She woke me up these last two mornings without fail, smiling as she did like an angel. Meh. I guess she might have gone to have a shower early for... For who knows at the same time. We were asleep. That makes perfect sense, but... For some reason, Stefania's absence feels kind of ominous. I can't help but worry about some, that something is array, but no, I try to tell myself I'm being foolish. I shouldn't worry so much. Nothing is wrong. That brief feeling of icy discomfort I felt last time was nothing more than baseless paranoia. It has nothing to do with Stefania's disappearance. Why are you talking about her? What about Elizabeth? What about Elizabeth's disappearance? God damn it. Not that she disappeared. She can't have. That's why I tried to tell myself at least, but... Oh? It's as I'm looking about my room that I notice. There is an envelope lying on the top of Stefania's futon. An envelope with neatly penned characters on it that read Ogasawara Hiroki. How strange. Did Stefania leave me a note? Why is it always Stefania? God damn it. Who cares? I suppose I'll never know until I take a look, but this handwriting doesn't resemble hers. <sighs> I take the envelope with trembling fingers, then slice it open with my fingernails. Gently I lever the letter out of the envelope's interior, then scan through it. I process the black characters wrench up on the perfectly white paper, my brow throwing and then. No way. A startled gasp falls from my lips. I can hardly believe it. I don't want to believe it. It doesn't feel real, but the critical lack of Stefania in my bedroom lends... Oh, fuck's sake. Lends this letter some credence. If Stefania really was here, she would have woken me up. She would have wished me good morning like she did yesterday and the day before that. She would have smiled to me and she would have thanked you for showing her such a good time yesterday, but of course Fanny didn't do any of those things. 
she feels so forced onto us. It's annoying. She couldn't because she isn't here. Good. She's been kidnapped. Okay, that's not good. What about that Lizzie? Where is it? Hey, wait. K kidnapped? At least the, the very good girl is still around. Elizabeth stares at me with wide surprised eyes from the other side of the kitchen table. I've since known... Uh, I've since shown Elizabeth the ransom note, and after scanning through it, Elizabeth now looks aghast. And for good reason. Her skin, which was already pale, looks positively ghostly, so pale it reminds me of paper. Elizabeth's fingers are gripping the note so tightly, I'm worried she might tear it, and fearful she might render the instructions written up on it. Unintelligible, I reach forward to tug it smartly from her grasp. The note does look a little crumpled, but other than that, it's not too worse for wear. I can still see all the most important information written up on the note. Namely, that whoever left it has Stefania in their grasp, in an abandoned warehouse by a wharf in Yokohama. Tokyo is not far from Yokohama, right? The kidnapper or kidnappers, I suppose, there could be more of them. Wants me to meet them at this warehouse as specified in this note, later than this night at 21. The note is very clear too, that I'm to arrive at this ranger's voie point alone. Well, we'll see about that. I want you, Gosawa Hiroki, to come and see me. The note specifies and only you. If you bring anybody else, the princess will pay. Do not force my hand, I have no desire to use violence. You think it's that girl? I think it's that girl. Uh, this unpleasant affair can be resolved peace peaceably? Peaceably. I understand peace. I've never seen a word peaceably. Peacefully, yes. Peaceably? I'm gonna type it into. Let's see. Let's see if something like that really exists. If it does. Wow. Peace. Fuck. Peace. Heavily. Are you serious? You have a word for that. Why would you use. Uh, create a different one? <sighs> Peacefully. I refuse to accept some peaceably to exist. Anyway, of that I promise you, so long as you heed my instructions. The note goes on to specify that I should appear at this abandoned warehouse with a significant sum of cash on my person. After handing this cash over to the kidnappers, they will let Stefania go free. As far as kidnapping scenarios go, it seems fairly standard. Now that I know very much about kidnappings, I've never been in a situation like this before. I have seen similar scenarios in movies though. This really does sound like a plot of some bad action movie. The contents of the note itself were particularly cliche, so much so I might have been tempted to consider this whole thing an elaborate prank if Stefania really wasn't missing. That's proof enough, if nothing else, that whoever left this note was being serious, perhaps literally so. What will they do? I can't help but worry. To Stefania will... To? Probably about would be better. Will she be alright? I'm painfully aware with every passing second that Stefania must be at the mercy of these mysterious brigands. I'm sure she must be terrified. I want to save her more than anything else. I... <laughs> That's not what I would say. I mean, sure, I want to save her, but I want a lot of other things way more than that. Stefania's welfare is on the line here. I can't afford to screw this up. You just call your succubus girls and they will save her. Ugh. Any wrong move on my part could well prove to be disastrous. Be besides, you don't have that money for sure. I don't know how much they asked for, but... 
let's face it, he doesn't have that amount. I need to think about this calmly and logically, but Elizabeth seems too worked up to think about things in terms like that. How could this happen? How could I have left let me lady be kidnapped? I'm supposed to be her top mate, looking after her is my duty, I can... If I cannot do that much, then how much work do I have? For all I claim to love you, lady, I truly am a failure. I will never forgive myself for this, not for long. As long as I live. But all is not us, I can get her back and I will. If it is a confrontation this kidnapper wants, then I am not afraid and grant them it. I will not let them intimidate me, despite all of their cordy threats. I am not afraid. I will storm to their hiding place and I will retrieve me, lady, using enemies at my disposal. Please wait for me, be lady. I will let you suffer on your own. Elizabeth strides for prompts me to exit my apartment by a stop her before she can retreat, resting a restraining hand upon her shoulder. Whoa, easy there, Elizabeth. Let's not do anything hasty. Can you take a deep few deep breaths? <sighs> we need to think about this logically. Logically? Elizabeth calls. How can I think about anything logically, Mr. Kaswara, when we lady is missing? For all we know, her kidnappers might be subjecting her to unspeakable torture even as we stand here. Meh. We are doing nothing. Saving, safe, wasting time. If you can afford to take deep breaths, then you can. You are clearly not regarding this situation with the degree of seriousness it deserves. I don't. For shame, Mr. Kaswara, but I thought you cared about me, lady. No, I care about the mate. I repeat it over and over again, since you two have been introduced, but no one listens, wing cloud included. <sighs> I do care about her, I care about her a little bit, that's why I'm asking you to slow down and to reconsider. I want your conscience to be clear, there's no guarantee that Stephanie is being tortured right now. Grim for it might sound, I presume her kidnappers would want to keep her in one piece, at least until they receive the ransom money. But she might be in danger if we ignore the warnings in this letter and if we both go flying to her rescue. Let's face it, Hiroki for like you trying to go and... Mm, I mean... Velter says that I'm the only one who's to meet her. Something awful might happen if we don't hit it. What? But then? What are we to do? How are we supposed to rescue me, lady? We need to give it some thought. I don't much like the idea of hanging around waiting either, so how about this? I think we should go and see Marina. Miss Wakatsuki, you mean? Hmm, that's right. Marina's pretty smart, she knows her stuff. If anybody can give us advice, she can. And I think that if there is really no way to save Stefania beyond bowing to the kidnappers' whims, then Marina should be able to help us procure the money they asked for. Because as I mentioned earlier, Hiroki doesn't have that amount for sure. I don't much like the thought of rewarding these kidnappers for their weak scheme, but playing along with them might be the only option available to us. The amount of money they requested is truly eye-watering, at least it is to a poor nobody like myself. So I imagine for myself as well. But Stefania's welfare is far more important. Like Elizabeth herself said, I'm prepared to do anything for her sake. I'm not. Again. The money is no object. Technically it is. I just want to assure that Stefania's alright. Uh, I want to ensure that Elizabeth doesn't go crazy. That's about it. Hmm, it's been a moment. How are you? A kidnapping. Hmm. Marina surveys Elizabeth and I from across the desk. Her fingers stippled together and her green eyes narrowed. Elizabeth and I made a beeline for Marina's workplace after discussing the contents of the ransom note we received. After announcing my name to the well dressed woman at the reception desk, we were soon ushered into Marina's office. Marina fortunately was in the midst of a meeting and she welcomed Elizabeth and I gen gen genially enough. Genially? I don't know, like. Is that me or Succubus? 
Seven uses some weird words from time to time. Like earlier, the, uh, not using the word peacefully, but the different weird version. Anyway, now the three of us are sitting together in her plush, high-profile office located at the very top of a tall building. The walls of Panina's office are largely comprised of glass, and beyond them I can see Tokyo spread out beneath me like diorama. The view from Marina's office is breathtaking, and her office itself is awfully fancy. It's been a long while since I last found myself in Marina's office, and back then, I didn't have much of an opportunity to look around. I was more distracted instead with other, more carnal, shall we say, mothers. Carnal is laughing on my mind right now, however, as I survey Marina. Uh, I would put carnality here over... You know who? Marina does look very attractive in her suit. Uh, hell yeah. It's been a while, I think, since I saw her in that getup. Well, not in this game, that's for sure. But that's not important right now. Yes, it is. Neither is Marina's fantasy office. Yes, it is. It looks pretty good. And it is a nice view. Hmm. Interesting painting as well. Looks a little bit... Hmm... Looks a little bit like something we could get from either Sakura Beach or Sakura Alien characters, sort of. Maybe not a painting, but a photo really over here. But yeah, of the night sky. Given that we know the MCs of those two games liked observing the stars. Anyway, yes, I'm totally drifting to the side because there are more important matters than Stefania. Anyway, I'm too worried about Stefania, I, that's Hiroki's words, to pay anything else much attention. I totally just paid more attention to that photograph. Dear me, it does sound like a thorny situation. I can well understand why you are so concerned. I know that you care for Stefania a good deal. Meh. And I know too that Hifumi is very fond of her. For some reason. She would be devastated if any harm were to befall her as, I as would I. Stefania is a good girl, even for boring and a bit of an arhat, and she does not deserve to suffer. Hey, I agree with the last part. But other than that, meh. Indeed, she does not. That being the case, would you please help us? I'd not like to make demands upon others. It is unseemly behavior of our mate. But this matter, I fear is urgent. Will this life may well hang in the balance? I could not bear it if she was to suffer. And do you think I could? My enemies might think me cold and calculating. But I'm not devoid of human emotions. I'm rather fond of Stefania, as I believe I mentioned already. Why? I do not want any harm to befall her. Okay, that again. Yes, I agree with that. But she's not that important. She's absolutely not that important. That being the case... Marina ponders while crossing one long leaf leg over the other beneath her desk. I can lend you some money if you wish to pay for Stefania's safety. How much did the ransom note specify? I tell Marina the exact number and she nods. Uh, well, uh, I want to know too! I really want to know. Why won't you tell me? That should not be too hard to procure. Are you sure? The Q number or Q numbers ask for a pretty hefty sum. Eh. 
Indeed they did. Or at least they would have if they had kidnapped the commoner. But the prince has covered the sum his paltry one, almost curiously so. The precise amount of money they demanded is so low, in fact, when contrasted with Stefania's worth. Nee. It makes me wonder whether these kidnappers know what that they're what they are doing. Literally every other girl in this game. I would give Maybe not money wise, but still, I would give more value as really. Every single one of the girls is more valuable than princess. Yeah. They must be green when it comes to business negotiations. If they were sitting before me in the boardroom, I would make short work of them. They are hopeless novices, really, and worse still, they are cowards. The money they ask for is but a pittance to a man of my calibre, but I can't say I like the thought of rewarding them for their underhanded behaviour. They deserve nothing from me save my scorn. Well, I'll give you the money the kidnappers asked for. I'll prepare it in a briefcase, in fact, for ease for transportation. I not intend for this near do wells to keep the cash. What are you suggesting then? I've been devising something of a plan. Well, we've been sitting here, having this less than a pleasant conversation. So Saint Marina talks with a lock of her pale silvery hair, twining it about her finger. I've given the better some thoughts, and I have decided that I would like you to aid you in Stefania's rescue in a more immediate manner, beyond loaning out some money. I would like to accompany you to the warehouse where she is being held, to protect her, protect her if need be. Would you really be willing to do that? Hmm, naturally. I'm sure I and Cosmos would be willing to come along too, if I asked them. Hazen and Hifumi are too busy, unfortunately, and I would not wish to unduly worry Hifumi by informing her of this incident. Hifumi is a sweetheart, and knowing that Stefani is in danger would only worry her. Her help should not be necessary, however. Man, I wish I could see Hifumi for... It's been so long too. With the aid of us three succubi, we should be able to overpower the kidnappers and retrieve the money, which should first hand to the kidnappers, of course, as a decoy, Hiroki. Wait a second. Wait this. Wait this. Heck, hint. Am I missing something from the last game or something? How come you say openly that you are a succubi when Elizabeth is right in front of you? I, I'm missing something. I mean, they don't know that, right? Uh, with the aid of three of us succubi, we should be able to overpower the kidnappers and retrieve the money, which you first hand to the kidnappers, of course, as a decoy, Hiroki. How does that sound? Sounds like a sunny enough plan, if I and Cosmos agree to it, but... I glance over at Elizabeth. Then Marina let something pretty confidential sleep there. I knew it! She just out and announced herself as a succubus, alongside Ayo and Cosmos. I thought that was supposed to be a secret. I wait on the tenter hooks for the moment that Elizabeth aghasters at Marina and says, Higa! What are you, really? And yet... That sounds like a good plan to me, too. Well, I guess she's, in the end, one of them. Uh, as just It was just not said yet. Elizabeth nods, her expression unsurprised and unchanging. Did she not register that bombshell Marina just dropped? Perhaps she's so concerned about Stefania's welfare, she can't focus on anything else. 
That makes sense, I guess, but I thought this revelation to that suck by doing fact exists would make a bit more of an impact on her. Hey, said, did you catch what Marina just said? That she would aid me in finding me, lady. Yes, indeed, I heard it loud and clear. No, 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 not that part. I meant more, uh... Now, how can I phrase this? I don't think there's any delicate way to put it, so I guess I'll just throw it out there. I was talking about the succubus thing. Hmm? Oh, yes, I heard that. But worry not, it comes as no surprise to me. Are you sure? Most normal people would be freaking out right now if they heard that Sakubai exists. Mm hmm? Perhaps most normal people would, Mr. Gaswara, but you forget that I'm not normal. As milady's inotable, indomitable, unflappable mate, it's my duty to take such information no matter how shocking in my stride. Eh? I lost my head before upon learning that milady was in danger, but I will not let that happen again. I'll not let anything disturb me in my quest to get her back. Nothing matters more to me than my lady's safety, and in any case, I already knew that Miss Wakatsuki was a succubus. Huh? Hey. Did you indeed? Yes, that is correct. The scent of succubus is unmistakable. It was quite apparent the moment you stepped foot in Astoria's palace. You and Miss Yamamoto and Miss Williams, Miss Ikuetu and Miss Moretti, you are all a succubi. I know it. It is no big surprise. Please don't expect me to gasp in horror, else you will be gravely disappointed. Heh. <laughs> well, I thought as much. I knew you were very astute. Now, I suppose we might as well bring our little tete 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 a tete whatever you were, what, however you were supposed to say it. Tete a tete. Tete a tete. I don't know how to spell it. Is it French? And we don't care. To an end here, but before that, I have a proposition I would like to make. And this proposition is? My, my, do not look so mistrustful, please. It will be quite beneficial, I assure you, to all the parties. Go on. You see... Marina smiles while continuing to toy with her hair. For we succubi are stronger than ordinary humans, it is still possible for us to be overpowered. With myself, Ayu, and Cosmos present, we should be able to triumph over our, adver our adversaries, whoever they may be, but there is always a chance things might go awry. Perhaps you are aware of this already, Elizabeth, but we succubi divine much of our strength from... Intimate, shall we say, relationships with humans. It's been a while since I last indulged myself, and I fear I'm not in peak physical condition. This could soon be altered, however, if either you, or Hiroki, or both of you, they need to spend some quality time with me. What do you say? I know now mightn't be the best time, given you must be worried about the princess, but I'm suggesting this for Stefania's sake. If I do come to blows with her kidnappers, I would prefer to do so when I'm in optimal form. Sign me up. I'd not wish to be weakened before a fight. That might impact our chances at retrieving Stefania. Hmm. Elizabeth ponders Marina's words for a few moments before, after a pause, she nods. Very well. If what you are suggesting would aid me, lady, then I have no option but to consent. I too wish for nothing. Save her safety. It is my highest priority. I'm prepared to throw on any task for her sake. Indulge in any vice. I will stop at nothing to get her back. Oh, very good. I like the dance well. It is very decisive. It is full of passion. I can see that any entanglement with you would be most diverting. And who knows? Perhaps it will help to assuage your worries, if only for a few brief moments. Perhaps it will. That remains to be seen. I'm not, however, consenting because of my own enjoyment. Which is sad. Which is sad. Elizabeth, you should feel, think a little bit more. Um, and by that I mean a lot more about yourself. 
and constantly, ah, oh, it's for the sick princess, ah, oh, princess happiness, ah, oh, princess. Ugh. Anyway, I would never normally pursue my own pleasure with Milady when Milady is in danger. I'm doing this for her. Right. Cool. Ah, yada 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 yada. But of course, I would never dare to question otherwise. Now, what do you say about this arrangement, Hiroki? Would you care to join us? I know what Maria's getting at. Of course, she's not being exactly subtle, but I'm not sure how I feel right now. <laughs> do I want to join? Of course I do, for heaven's sake! Yes. Well, that's a no-brainer. It doesn't require much thought at all on my own part. God damn it, Marina, Elizabeth, sign me up. Of course, I'd like to help. I have no issue with this arrangement. Now, let's get down to business. And so they hugged a lot. They hugged a lot and charged the energy. And we'll see if the charging was good enough. Listen, you got over a little bit over two hours long episode yesterday. We'll cut it right here, right now. <laughs> it will be a shorter one. Also, because I want to have some content for tomorrow. So... Uh, basically, I'll be recording another one in a moment. Anyway. Okay, wait a second. I can't. There was no CG. Damn it. Later that night. Ah, this place looks so much disgusting. It's so dilapidated and ew, did I just see a rat? Did you? How lucky. How is that lucky to me? Just when? Were rats a sign of good luck? I think rats are cute. I like their twitchy noses and their little pink tails. How do, how do I mind having rats as a pet actually? Maybe I could lure it out with some cheese. Do you have any cheese on you, Cosmos? Of course I do. I'm part Italian. I never go outside without some mozzarella in my pocket. Your sack of the doesn't have any pockets for! Oh yeah. I suppose you're right. <laughs> Gee, try to take this bit more seriously, please. This is a kidnapping case. Stefania could be in real danger. I concur. This is very serious indeed. This is no time for japery. <laughs> japery! And why, may I ask, are you laughing? Oh, there is no reason. I was just thinking japery is such an old fashioned word. You really are an old lady, Marina! Oh. Really? You were picking a fight again? Oh my god. Are oh, you? You never learn, do you? Old? <laughs> Marina scolds at you, her expression twisting. We'll have less of that, young lady. Not if you don't want a smacked bottom. I thought you yourself said this was serious. It is serious. Please, put your petty squabbles to one side for now and don't worry about the rats. Millie's safety is vastly more important. Eh. Eh. Yeah, indeed. Ahem. Now that we have all the assembled here, we should be able to take on these kidnappers, whoever they may be. I bet it's that girl that we run into for like 50 seconds, maybe. Things may might have been dicey ju with just you and I, Elizabeth, but Cosmos and I should act as a decent enough backup. It is hard for ordinary humans to best one succubus, but with the three of us, I don't much fancy our assailants' chances, however many of them there might be. Our victory is all but assured, but doesn't do to be too confident. There is always a chance there might be more people involved in Stefania's kidnapping than we are aware. If it's an operation conducted by a large organization, say the Yakuza, then even we'll have our work cut out for us. Oof, Yakuza. Now that you mentioned it, a little surprised that we didn't that we didn't drift. Or more like Wink Cloud didn't drift into that topic as well. Sakuza, Sakuza, Sakuza. Why did I connect two words suddenly? 
Sakura Girls of Yakuza. Or Yakuza Girls. Ooh. Sakura Girls Yakuza. Sakura Yakuza Girls. I know, the title somehow doesn't work for me. But I would like that. That would be plenty cool, I think. Uh, as long as you don't force a boring girl on us, though. That being the case, let us go over our plan once more. Shrouded by the shadows of the abandoned warehouse, sis that towered about us, Marina launches once more into a plan. As far as the plan goes, it's pretty simple. The five of us, Marina, I, Cosmos, Elizabeth, and I came out here to the Rendezvous Point delineated in the ransom note to be the kidnappers who took Stefania and to negotiate with them. As far as I remember, uh, we were supposed to be alone. Marina, I, and Cosmos have already changed to their Sakuba, Sakuba's attire and the silhouettes look rather imposing when framed against the moonlight. We've yet to enter the warehouse where Stefania is supposedly being held, but I know we'll have to do that eventually. You. You are supposed to do that. I don't get it. Like, dude. Hiroki enters, gives them man the money, walks out with the boring girl, and then we organize a raid. I think it would work. Anyway, um, it's the only way, after all, to get the boring girl back. Our plan, when it comes to boring girl retrieval, goes like this. I'm to go inside the warehouse first. Okay, so you are doing it as I thought. Alone, as we request, was requested in the ransom note. I'll take with me the brick face full of cash, which the kidnappers also requested. I'm to make a show of exchanging the money with the kidnappers, and when they distract it, Elizabeth will creep into the warehouse to rescue her princess. While this is occurring, Marina, Io and Cosmos will arrive to back me up and they'll take care of the kidnappers. I don't know how many people are behind this operation, but I hope there won't be too many of them. There will be one. I have a feeling like that. Even if there is, say, dozen men hanging, out about hanging about in the warehouse, it shouldn't be too hard for my Succubus companions to dispatch of them. I've not seen Marina or the others unleash the full extent of their powers before. Huh. That might be true. But I have no doubts they are stronger than most ordinary people. Oh, that's... That's a given, to be fair. They should be fine. I hope they'll be fine, at least. With Stefania rescued and the kidnappers down for the count, it should be a simple enough matter to call the police and then let them take care of the rest. I have not heard of that part before. This way we'll get to save the boring girl and we'll be able to keep the money. I can't say really relish the thought of heading into the warehouse on my own, but Marina said and Elizabeth agreed that this was the most sensible course of action. Yeah. They literally asked for just you to go there. It would be stupid to go with someone else. Remember Hiroki. Don't do anything to arouse the kidnapper's suspicion. He will. Marina informs me once she finished going through the plan for the nth time. If this plan is to succeed, we'll need to have an element of surprise on our side. Let the kidnappers think you came alone as per their note stipulations. If they see you, one and armed young man, they should let their guards down. That's when we'll step in. We'll take them all down. No matter how many men there are. I'll go BAM POW yeah, Like something from an action movie. You can all call me Bond. Cosmos Bond. Hey <laughs> hey. I'm not calling you anything other than idiot. Can't you keep your voice down? Remember. What Marina said. We need to be stealthy. Some game is on discount. I don't know what. To be honest, for like, I wish those notifications would not pop out because even if you tell me that something is on a discount, I'll probably not buy it. 
What I found out lately is I'm only buying... Which is a good thing for me lately, at least. I'm only buying things that I would perhaps would like to record right now, right? I have... Dude, I have over... 4,600 games on wishlist. What the hell? That's ridiculous amount. Right now, I have also a category in the library, currently playing, supposedly. That's not really true, but currently playing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17 games on that part are the games which... Uh, are plans to be recorded, including Sakura Sakura 7. There is some stuff that you you requested, and I had this in the library already. There is also category games in queue, so I drop here stuff I sort of plan to play, or stuff that was gifted to me. Or something I played on other platform that I would still want to play for, for, for YouTube here. So I have there 71 games. And then there is not installed, so games that I never touched. 1222. God damn it. When am I supposed to do that all? <laughs> I will never complete Steam Library, that's for sure. Maybe we would be cleared more if I didn't go into each.io as well. That was kind of a mistake, maybe. Even for if even for each.io did bring some like really good games. Anyway. Remember Remember what Marina said? We need to be stealthy. I've never been very good at stealth missions in video games. <laughs> but Roger, I hear loud and clear. Are you? Or maybe soft and silent? <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, like, I'm the same when it comes to games as Cosmos here. I really want to try to be stealthy. But it ends up being... Alright, let's go loud. I guess you could fa find that out in... Far Cry games. Hmm. We didn't play only the last one. Uh, but other than that, I cleared every single one of them. Actually, not every single one. From Far Cry 3 until... Uh, the Whatever it was called. Anyway. I don't want Steffi to be hurt, so I do my best to stick to the script. I'll do everything to ensure her safety. And we shall do everything we can to ensure your safety too, Hiroki. You have nothing to worry about. If any nasty miscreant dares to lay so much as finger upon you, there will be a great reckoning. I won't let any blackguard harm my darling. Hey, a blackguard! Once more, I smirked, stopless amused by this antiquated expression. And you say you're not an old lady. Everything that comes out of your mouth is like so uncool. I'm not old, and I will thank you not to talk about what is cool and what is not. I'm the one who's being beaten in the charts by a woman who's on the wrong side of 30. <laughs> I wince at this, then press a hand to her chest. You didn't need to go there, Marina, you harpy! I'm still sorry about the whole she's a thing! Really? You're just about sorry about it? But I thought you said you didn't care, are you? I don't care! She's the most popular teacher in water me! Not in the slightest! You would hear her teeth grinding now, as well. I'm totally chill about it! I'm calm! I'm fine! I'm not worrying that my car might be crashing the burning, so let's not even talk about it! I think it's totally fine and dandy! Sure it is, whatever you say. I think we are getting off topic again. 
Because there are more important topics than this. <laughs> now that our plan has been successfully hashed out, I suggest we set into motion. Would you be so kind to enter the warehouse, Mr. Ogasawara, and parley with the kidnappers? I can tell that Milady is nearby, and I cannot, will not rest until she has been retrieved. Milady's safety is of the utmost concern to me. Everything else can wait. Right. I will take everything else over her, but... Still, we need to save her, right? I face the abandoned warehouse, which looms before me, with its water damaged wells and its broken windows and in hail. It's abandoned in terrible shape. If you would like to purchase it, I bet the price would be ridiculous still. Uh, we are going into that topic, or more like I'm going into that topic again, huh? I know, like I'm observing the prices for stuff and so on and... Dude. Just... Why? Ah... <sighs> It hurts so much how you can't really purchase something that could that would be truly yours, right? Anyway. My fingers, which are resting at my sides, curl into fists. A few moments pass during which I gather what little remnants of courage I possess and then I'll do it. I step forth, tightly clutching the briefcase, full of money Marina bequeathed to me earlier in her office. Just you wait, you boring princess. You boring princess. I won't abandon you, not to the mercy of these vile kidnappers. We're all here and we'll all want to rescue you. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> right. I'm going to look after you, I promise. Please, no. Ugh. I wish not. Man, if there was Sakura Sakubus 8, I really hope Stefania will not be a part of it. She feels so forced. She really feels so forced. Ah, I was right. This place release Skazi. I glance about the warehouse's interior, all the while clutching the briefcase Marina gave me, as for it's some kind of lifeline. This old warehouse has a high, tall ceiling, which seems to be amplify every single noise I make, no matter how quiet. I mean, because it's an open space, but I think he said that. Yeah, okay, high ceiling, tall ceiling, yes, also it's because of open space. The warehouse has stood abandoned for many years, for how many exactly I don't know, and the roof which towers above me is full of holes. Through the holes, rainwater has fallen and the ground is scattered with foetid puddles. I step into one such puddle which soaks the sole of my shoe and my sack. Oh god damn it! I shudder to feel it and try to suppress the hiss of surprise. I don't feel at all welcome here, but this, I guess, is to be expected. Nobody should be here. I could probably get into legal trouble. I muse while glancing about. For trespassing, if the authorities knew I'd come here, but the police are the last concern on my mind right now. I mean, if it still belongs to someone, then definitely. I'm more fixated upon Stefania and her safety, and the status of the kidnappers. I've only taken a few steps into the warehouse, but I've not seen anybody suspicious just yet. Is Stefania really here? What about the people who held her captive? I'm starting to second guess myself. Did I come to the wrong place? I take a few more steps into the darkness, my heart hammering inside my chest the whole time. Don't you have flash flashlight or something? Uh, out of the corner of my eye, I see something scuttling the shadows. Could be a rat, maybe several. 
I did say she thought she saw one back when we stood outside on the wharf and unlike Cosmos, I don't think rats are cute. I mean, I've seen a few, I guess, but it was when a uh, really long time ago when lived uh, on the outskirts of town. Same with mouses, mice, with mice, sorry, mouses, with mice. I'll have to side with Ayu on this affair. Mm, about rats? It depends. Some can look cute, yeah. But... The ones you would say, see in a place like this? Mm, no thanks. I think they're perfectly revolting. Eh. The worst of, 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 of bad are pigeons still. Ugh. I shudder again, it's so cold, my teeth are beginning to chatter. The again, the, again, pigeons are the rats of the sky, right? When I inhale, I can smell dirt and grime and rust. Maybe some mold too? I turn a corner, skirting around a heap of old packing crates, my eyes white in oppressive darkness and then... The boring girl is here. Oh, finally I spot her. So she really is here. Sitting on a wooden chair, arms and legs tied together with lengths of coarse rope. Her expression is an anxious one, as well it might be given her dire circumstances. She looks afraid, but fortunately it doesn't seem like she's come to any physical harm. That's a relief if nothing else. The Kedemers mustn't have done anything to vile her, or at least I hope they haven't. Speaking of said kidnappers, I still can't see any trace of them, but I'm more concerned with Stefania's welfare right now. I dash over to her and then cry. No, I don't. Steffi, are you right? This seems like a bit of a stupid question to ask given the situation. It's obvious just look at her that she isn't alright, but I feel obligate, obliged to ask it regardless. Svania looks unskated for the most part, but I need to double check. Hmm. Hiroki, you came for me? No. I came for the kidnappers. I'm interested in her. Because I bet it's her. Of course I did. I couldn't just leave you. Not when you were in trouble. Mm. I've been so worried about you. Said Hiroki. I'm glad to hear that, it's booze, for I must apologize for breaking your friend. You don't need to apologize, not at all. You didn't do anything wrong. Or did you? Because how did she get kidnapped? Given that she was inside, Hiroki was inside in the same room. Uh, Elizabeth was around as well. Why does it feel like... She might have walked out of the apartment on her own. Which would mean it is her fault. Kind of. I mean, getting kidnapped cannot be really her fault, but... Yeah, whatever. Let's not get into that. Ugh, I want to go sleep, to be honest. The real villains are whoever tied you up. Oh, yeah, yeah, indeed. Uh, at the mention of these as of yet unseen villains, Stefania's pretty face blanches. I need to worry about that, Hiroki. There aren't any villains, plural. There is only one. I knew it! What? Did one person orchestrate all of this then? Did they tie you up? Yeah, yeah, for day, but. Damn it, there are guts here than I thought. But that should make things easier. If we're only up against on one person, they should be easy enough to take down. Right, Hiroki, right. Like, you are the last person that should be saying something like that. We? Stefania blinks. What do you mean? I mean, I'm not at... Oh my god, Hiroki, shut the fuck up! What is wrong with you? Oh my god. Obviously, the kidnapper is around, you idiot. 
she will hear everything. How dumb can you be? Elizabeth came here too to protect you and so did Marina, Ayu and Cosmos. We're all here for you, Steffi. And they kidnap her. Oh, great to know! <laughs> oh my! I had hoped Stefania would be relieved at this news, but instead she looks concerned. I'm flat through here, Death, of course, but that only makes me worry all the more. The woman who kidnapped me, you see? So the culprit cool behind all of this is a woman. This is getting curiouser and curiouser. Isn't an ordinary woman? I had no idea what she is exactly. I've never seen anybody look quite like her before, but she's truly frightening. I think she might be a demon. Demon. Can it? I lose my son, Grace, but please, Hiroki, you must believe me. Her powers are not of this world. If this were in such a tense situation, I'd be almost tempted to laugh at that. Stefan does need to worry about seeming crazy in my company, not when uh, I mean, not when I have a whole harem of sexy suck by lusting after me. That's right. You have wonderful succubi, so why would you add her to it? He demons really do exist, I think I'd prepared to take it in my stride at this point. I mean, why not? So many wild things have happened to me already, demons don't seem all that far-fetched. Hell, Stefania could even throw a vampire or two into the her tail and I wouldn't bat an eyelid. There was a game with vampire. You need to retreat Hiroki, you and all the others, it isn't me she wants, you see? I beg your pardon? She told me a bit about her plans when she tied me to the chair, she told me I was never her target. I was nothing more than the pain mean meant to lure you out. You aren't safe here, if you try to rescue me, she will appear and then she will hurt you. I told you to be injured for my sake, Hiroki, I would never forgive myself if it happened. Please, you have to. Stefania entreats me, or at least she tries to. But before Svania can finish this heartfelt plea, I feel something collide with the back of my head. Uh, rest in peace, Hiroki. There's a dual sick crack, which I realize a split second later must have emitted from my cranium. Oof. And then, with a low move of pain, I slam forwards. My knees hit the cold, hard floor. No, Hiroki! And then everything goes black. And that's how Sakura Sakubu 7 ends. Because that freaking idiot has had a princess forced on him by the deaths. <laughs> you know what? This is where we will cut it. It will continue tomorrow. For now. Uh... Yeah, let's do it like that. Let's cut it right here. We have one CG. It's good. For the thumbnail. Hope you enjoyed, Fo. Uh, he needs to return to his consciousness somehow. Which, well, will happen, obviously. And we'll see where this all goes. Consider liking the video if you enjoyed it. Hope me nagging about... Uh, well... The princess clearly being overforced on us does not uh, annoy you too much. <laughs> Subscribe if you're new. Uh, there will be obviously all of the Sakura Sakubu 7. There will be more Sakura games if they still release some. And in the description, Twitch, Twitter, Instagram. If you're into any of that stuff, you can follow me there for free as well. It's up to you. For now, for hope you all have a wonderful day, and actually it's Friday, hope you have a wonderful weekend as well, hope you don't have to work or study or anything in that time, and you can just kick back and relax, that's right, so have a wonderful weekend, bye bye!